Jocelyn claimed to have washed her hands of all the drama. But when it came time to get back to the grind of the ATL, she needed more than a $200 manicure to keep her hands clean. With Jocelyn, it's just always an ulterior motive. I know her. She ain't nobody friend. Do you think she's threatened by you? She has to be. It's always old bitch this, old bitch that. It's old bitch the good. I think she's very miserable and insecure. She has no loyalty to anyone. She's a horrible person. What, what happened where she flipped the switch? She's not rap tight. Rehab. Rehab for what? What do people go to rehab for? <laughs> well, several reasons. <laughs> Whatever the reason is. Oh, okay, so you rehab. got to say it on the list. Check it off. Check it off. Coke, Elaine, or Jocelyn. That's how it goes. Yeah, in the story. Can you explain what that means? You know, prima donna said it. I mean, all of this outrageous behavior. I mean, the things I see on You got to be on something. Say anything that you want to say about me. I'm going to get you back. I'm going to show you how to really play the game. Jocelyn was back and ready to show the other ladies in the cast just who was in charge. And when she heard Carly Red was back to her messy ways, she became first on Jocelyn's hit list. I took it up on myself to get this information. All I want to tell you is, if you don't want this information on the blogs, this information right here, it? if you keep on with your guys, I'm nothing to hide. Okay, well, nothing. I'm Not one thing. How did you feel when she presented that envelope and essentially what you said blackmailed you? I was hurt. Like, damn, bitch. I supported you with everything that you've done. So it was like, damn, you want to blackmail me? Like, bitch. That's your friend. What was in the envelope? I'm, I'm going to let Don Heflin. Don, you're making calls over here. Yeah. She does. Okay. She has to, because if not, the word would be burned the oh. down <laughs> with me. I ain't going to say nothing. Do you think she, maybe she was bluffing? Who knows? I would have said it. Keep it real. You got something, put it out there. The name of this show is Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, Exposed and Unfiltered. Are you sure you don't want to tell us what's in the envelope? Well, I'm going to spare Carly. So you're going to spare her? Right, I'm going to spare Carly. I mean, why not? Look at her. Poor baby. <laughs> she walked cricket as hell. One of her legs is longer than the other leg. I can't. I would really just be a bully if I wasn't to have like a little soft spot for the bitch. Do you still call her friend? No. I s call her an associate. A set up bitch, or uh, you know. You might be making a new word up right now. <laughs> oh, you think it might be low key snitching? Low key snitching. 